Oh, the dance, the dance, you know, the dance. I don't know. Even your emotions have an echo. So you see the cut? You see the split? Yeah, mama, see Just it. say it. I'm repping for Halloween, in I? Oh. In I? The haunted golden chain split. Um, Afrocentric queen. I don't know. I just need a, a total character for you. <laughs> um, is that Shay Joel? Hold on. No. What is the sound name with the with the walk a while ago? No, Charles no. Barkley. Crazy. Crazy. Uh -huh. Like the black lips lipstick? Is yeah, it I do. For you? I do. I just yeah. said Halloween. I should look at the Halloween pumpkin. Ah. No, the pumpkin, which is like golden. I'm, go I'm leaving. And <laughs> I'm, go I'm going. And then the black, you know, a pr Halloween pumpkin princess. Benji, are you laughing? Benji. He's laughing at me. Benji, should I look at the, the Halloween, Halloween pumpkin? pumpkin? The Halloween, haunted Halloween princess pumpkin. If you don't see Joel again for the next few <laughs> weeks, he's recovering in hospital. <laughs> Welcome to Daytime Live. It's Tuesday. Joel. Yes, yes, yes. It's, <clears throat> you know, it's that day that everybody hates. It's Tuesday. <clears throat> Come on. Wednesday's almost there, which is hump day, but... Tuesday just, ugh, ugh. it's like, where's the end of the week? And then Friday is actually the day where I look forward to. But then, Monday comes. So it's like, we you get to rest. Because you look at the haunted Halloween princess Because we're not talking to you, I'm just Come on. It's a very cute outfit though. But yeah, welcome <laughs> to Daytime Live as Nisha and said. Uh, remember, you can connect with us on social media, Instagram and Twitter at TVJ underscore Daytime Live. And on Facebook at TVJ Daytime Live. And if you want to be a part of a studio audience like these guys here, Woo! log on to televisionjamaica.com. They're like... <laughs> and get listed. And, and catch back shows via onespotme.com. Okay, let's get busy. You know, that was my line. Ah! Right, 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 right. I All did. Right. So, I think I should read the first story because okay. this is your... We are happy, happy, happy to kick off Buzz to share great news about our amazing co-host, Duffy. Now, Duffy smashed yes. Outburst comedy show um, that took place at the National Arena on Saturday. He worked so well, in fact, that even Beanie Man said he took the night over from headliner Mike Epps, who <laughs> disappointed the audience who came to see the American comedian. Now, um, he was very much unprepared, yes, but the thing no is research. that he also admitted as much. Now, here is a small snippet of Duffy. Yes. Yes, let's take a little look. Good night, No light ticket. Thousand dollar. Nine feet for the night. No. Do you hear me in the background? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I missed it because it was supposed to be a daytime live support crew par. But unfortunately, we were I wasn't there. there. The girls were there. The girls were there. The girls represented. The girls of daytime. Yeah, represented. but um, he did so well. I listen. I see. I see some posts on social media. You know, talking about Mike Epps and the fact that. A lot of times we have, not a lot of times, but we do have a lot of well, 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 excellent comedians locally. And um, if it's a case where they decided to put on a show without an international headliner, would it have received the same number, you know, number of persons turning out? But the point out? is, every Tuesday at 100 Club, Big Up Yourself, Johnny Daly and all those the guys at 100 Club every Tuesday night, um, we go, I go out because I enjoy comedy, I enjoy laughing. As you guys know, I enjoy the talking and everything is amazing. But we, the turnout, though, is, is not at all comparative. Mm -hmm. I know it's a national arena and as such, but the persons that I saw coming out for this, I've never seen them ever at Comedy Night. Yeah, because it's an international ever. pool and everybody, I mean, come on. And Duffy is there too every Tuesday, yeah. like holding it down, but, you know? You know, we like, we like the international pool and all that, and it's just funny how we didn't deliver. Um, I mean, first things first, you don't come to Jamaica and you do something. First of all, you have to understand who you're coming to. You see, Jamaican women, I heard he used some profanity in reference to Jamaican women, like, you know, whatever, whatever. You don't do that to Jamaican women. He said women. Skittles instead of Skittle. Yeah, you don't do that. Then he t made reference to his wife, because his ex-wife is a dark-skinned woman, and his current wife is... <clears throat> and he talked about the ugly kids and the pretty kids, and I'm like, Excuse And I heard me? he said something to a lady um, that me. she left her um, Daria in the, in, in the seat, and she was like... Yeah. Huh? That's not funny. Yeah. That's actually really not yeah. funny. So first things first, yeah. research your crowd before you do that. But anyway, we're not going to talk about him. Yeah. Duffy, big up yourself. Yeah. I yeah. heard he was really, 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 he really good. He was really, really good. And the good thing and about him as well is he was relevant. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? You could tell Duffy was working with that crowd. Everything that he said that night, I haven't heard before. Yeah. It was relevant to what was happening that evening, what happened this weekend. You know, the climate, He Mike Epps came with some outdated jokes that he told 10 years ago that we heard already. <laughs> it's like negative. So bottom line, let's Failed. continue to su support our local talents because they're really good. Next news. 100 Club tonight, by the way, big up. Everybody, come on out. Let's give the same support. Duffy's on, yes. Johnny's back. I think he was in Canada. I think he's mm -hmm. back now. So come out tonight, 100 Club, 8 o'clock. Awesome I'll be sauce. there. Joel will come too. Yes. So the great Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, if you guys have been following up with this The mess, what, sorry? The great Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. I can't really... Ugh. Okay. Um, they had... They, well, the <coughs> few that they had, apparently it's kind of... The great dwindled. debate. No, the great debate. Ah. Less than two months. Now, the two <laughs> rappers whose Harper's Bazaar iconic party fight where Cardi B allegedly threw her heel because it was one foot at Minaj after she believed <laughs> Minaj liked a tweet <laughs> insulting her parenting skills. You know, they started a public war and they decided to come at peace last night. But... Of course, without some drama. So first of all, uh, Cardi B made a post on her Instagram story calling Nicki, Nicki Minaj a liar. And because Mina said on her Queen Radio show that she was innocent regarding the multiple aspects of their fight per the cut. Minaj then suggested Cardi B take a lie detector test <sighs> with her. <laughs> and also it was a great promotion for her music video. But anyway, good to see that the two ladies have squashed it. Next. Because I don't know, there's, there's space for everybody. Yeah. We are war for. There's space for everybody. Just yeah, do well, what you have to do. And like I say, I did saying with what's happening with women right now around the world, what's happening with our young girls right now, there are better things to do, guys. Get it together. You're an embarrassment to us all. Stop. And the, yeah, man. And even locally, sometimes you have some little feud and some little foo foo beef. Money yeah. there, there for everybody. Just strategize well. Hire a proper Call marketing Joel. team. He will do it for yeah. you. You know? Yeah, man. Joe's like, yes, plug, plug. <laughs> 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 All right, so guys, Pharrell, Will 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 Pharrell Williams. Williams isn't too happy, happy. with, <laughs> with President Trump. Now, a lawyer for the musician filed a cease and desist letter against the president on Monday after Trump used his song happy. during a political rally in Indiana on Saturday, and I quote, on the day of the mass murder of 11 human beings at the hands of a deranged nationalist, you played his song Happy to a crowd at a political event in Indiana. Mm -hmm. The letter acquired by the Daily News reads, there was nothing happy about the tragedy inflicted upon our country on Saturday and no permission was granted for you for your use of this song for this purpose. Now, Williams also said Trump is not allowed to use any of his music without, without permission. No, Robert, Robert Bowers, who's 46, could face the death penalty after being accused of shooting and killing 11 people at Pittsburgh Synagogue on Saturday. Now, his victims ranged from 54 to 97 years old. Mm -hmm. Several musicians have found issue with the president's use of their songs, including Steven Tyler, Adele, Earth, Wind & Fire, and Queen. What do you think about um, uh, Trump uh, using <coughs> the song without, um, well, locally and abroad as uh, well, uh, to be honest? All right. Um, Trump, boy, anything with Trump, no. <laughs> no. But you have, you know, rallies and stuff like that, that persons who do it, and I'm sure some uh, musicians might not have a problem with it, right? Per se, because those politicians might be likable. Even in Jamaica, where... I know they're trying hard for this. We call a thing now the, the intellectual, intellectual property. property. But when you go to them political rally, they are watched on TV. I hear Champion Boy. J w w um, Andrew Holness used that a lot. Champion, Champion Boy. Boy yeah. um, Mrs. Sim used Strength of a Woman a lot. Which was so, written for her, I understand, though. Well, it was written and she liked it. So, uh, but, 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 but um, the performance at, at her, Shaggy still perform for her either That's what way. I'm so, saying. So, I mean, for them, yeah. locally, I don't think they'd have an issue with that because it's all a part of the excitement. You know, you're a champion boy, Alkaline song, so it kind of resonates with that. But you know, it's about time we stop getting. doing things for excitement and do things the way that they should be done. If you're going to use any of my material, ask my permission. But I don't know if Alkaline did get a little thing from Andrew Honest use the song. I use it enough. <laughs> music, nuff, 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 nuff. So in terms of persons using uh, musician song, they, they do that a lot because it really resonates with the public. You're trying to come off as a, you know, a little bit relatable. So using a song like that would be great. But when you're a... Trump... 
<laughs> the thing is that Trump <laughs> is not very popular. Trump make own Pharrell song. has said that he's not a fan of Trump. <laughs> Nobody is a like fan of Trump. His view. No, you have people. They voted for him well, after yeah, they, all. They do. So yeah, they he has me. his followers. Pharrell mm. has said, I am not one of them, and I'd rather you are not involved with my stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not involved with you. Therefore, use the music of persons that you know on your team but it's a common practice i think it's around the world um as, as i said before a lot of times you, the politicians want to relate with everybody like hey you're not listening to the same music but we don't though just saying well no people i'm don't, sure trump is not at home listening to happy in his living room but, let's be clear. And again that was just not appropriate this yes why but that's the other point though is the fact why? that he is so unaware of what's yes. happening in the world like being yeah. the president it's dude. ridiculous so. It is ridiculous. But we'll have much more <sighs> buzz for you when we come back after the break. <laughs>